there is new research that impacts you if you're a coffee drinker on this Wellness Wednesday. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with the latest findings and how your favorite pick-me-up can impact your health. Coffee is one of the most widely consumed beverages in the world after water and tea. For centuries, it's greased social interaction and improved productivity. And because it's so heavily consumed, coffee is also one of the most researched foods. Many people may believe coffee causes cancer. That's incorrect, although 30 years ago, the World Health Organization did classify it as possibly carcinogenic. Since then, they've reviewed over 1,000 studies on coffee and cancer risk, and in 2016, they reversed that classification, finding that coffee drinking is not a cause of breast, pancreas, or prostate cancer, and even went as far as saying that there was evidence coffee reduced the risk for liver and endometrial cancer. The source of the potential protective benefits of coffee lies in the biologically active plant chemicals. Now, brain health is another area coffee appears to impact, particularly the risk of developing Parkinson's disease. Multiple studies have all shown a decreased risk of Parkinson's in people who routinely drank coffee, although in some studies it was difficult to tell if the caffeine alone was producing the benefit. Speaking of caffeine, you can't really talk about the health benefits of coffee without some discussion of the main reason many people drink it, the caffeine. While it might be protective against Parkinson's, it's also responsible for many of the negative effects that some coffee drinkers experience. Caffeine can produce an increase in heart rate and blood pressure, irritability, anxiety, nausea, diarrhea, heartburn, and insomnia. The caffeine in more than two cups of coffee a day has also been linked to some adverse pregnancy issues. Given caffeine's effect on our cardiovascular system, you might think coffee would be bad for your heart, but based on several large studies, you would be wrong. Coffee appears to lower the risk of both heart disease and stroke. Now, coffee has also been shown to decrease the risk of developing metabolic syndrome and type 2 diabetes, although that's black coffee, not if it's loaded with cream and sugar. All told, the overall effect of coffee appears to be very positive, with one study even finding compared with non-drinkers, those drinking six to seven cups daily had a 16% lower risk of an early death. 